I actually feel pretty good. Or, not great, but... Better than I have a lot of times where I've... Played a lot better. Meanwhile, we got a CM. With all due respect, you know, you don't want to be playing CMs and then... Um, in the 8th round this is, this is a weird move order go h3 maybe avoiding this probably have to go rookie 1 later anyway and then we just get a normal side step or brayer Go for a not normal Brayer setup. It's been a really weird move order. How do we people play this? Can see two maybe? <laughs> I'm on I'm 67th, yeah I gotta drop two more places. Who do I think will win the world championship? Don't really care. I'm just randomly like centralizing pieces here. <sighs> How do I come up with plans in chess? Well, I don't at the moment. Taking bets on whether I finished a finish ahead of Botus. She playing. She could very well finish that finish ahead of me. C M equals cock muncher. Never knew that, but it makes a lot of sense. Oh, she's on two and a half. Yes. Good. I'm ahead, at least in one of the streamer battles. What am I doing? Takes, takes. Bishop b2, queen b2, c5. Black is completely fine. I think I should have gone c5, because now that I get c5, I have at least some... some hope here. Take an e5. Really nice to see four really to d six. C four next maybe. <laughs> Looking cute today, minus you'd make an excellent fanboy. Thank you. I think I'll go here. You know, I'll take the compliments I'll get. C4 now. Uh.
My grandma's poodle has the same haircut. Oh, it's probably the envy of all the other poodles, no? This, maybe a bit of D5, kind of holds. B1, should be good enough. This is probably the only move. Then Rook C1. When do we get to f see the hair in, in all its glory? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to grow it out. What is this? It's trying for some background checkmate. There is no background checkmate. There's only resigns. Well, there's no resigns. Check. Check. Oh, that was insane. I'll go back. I just didn't want to allow any root do one stuff. I'm getting so little respect from my opponents now that they even play play on in these completely lost positions. Now will you resign? No, he loses in time. Okay. Okay, let's play the Sicilian. Very solid. This is called... What's this called? I just call it the uh, A6 line. Of the... Uh... Apparently it's time enough. I thought time enough was Queen C7. Uh, don't read chat, play chess, show strengths. Show class. You've clearly never been on this stream before if you're talking about class. <laughs> What's this F for? Um, this F4 is unpleasant. He's intending to checkmate me very quickly. Okay, let's go bishop b7. I'm kind of worried about this and then f5 though, but I didn't see a better move. We are witnessing pure class. Yeah, maybe you are, but not here. I'll take it. Bishop c5 wasn't good. No, I think it's just a check, and then I sort of force his king where he, where he wants to go. My bishop would not be good on c5. I'd like my pawn or my knight there. Bishop f4. Yeah, now I'll bring the knight around. It's a nice trick there if he'd gone e6, then I'd take queen e6. I uh, move the king away and then I would uh, win some material. Um, wait a sec. Yeah, some dangerous threats. I have to give him that. I think if bishop h6, probably have to go for queen b6 and queen b2 and hope I don't get mated somehow. Beat sounds coming through the mic. I'm psyching the exchange. Getting destroyed by these low rated players. Yeah, sad but true. Well, now that he takes the exchange, I'm not so worried. Queen g3, probably. If he moves the knight, then I can take the pawn. And then I'm definitely doing well with two pawns and pretty strong position for the exchange. Safe dark squares, yeah. It's a little bit safer. Uh, a little bit safer now without the bishop. Yeah, queen g3 is the right move. Now... <laughs> Suffering me a draw? Fuck off. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I might lose the game, but I'm not gonna take a draw. 
Ah, uh, I underestimated 94. Probably should have taken the draw. Chip C8. I'm really not playing well. Uh, he should have gone with the other rook. Now I can take this pawn. And, uh, yeah, let's just try and consolidate. Now again, I got the uh, two pawns for, um, for the exchange, and I should be doing okay. He does have some attacking potential, though, so I have to be a bit careful. Okay, let's maybe bring the queen back and the bishop here. I'm attacking the pawn on e5. He sacks the bishop, but I don't think that actually works. Queen takes, I got queen e5. Queen e8, I got king h7, and I think I'm just protecting everything. Because centralized queen is incredibly strong. And here I think I can just win with checks now. Bishop e5, g3, I got queen e2 at the very least. Just take the rook and we win. Okay, pretty poor game. Yeah, uh, played a little bit slowly, but then I sped up at the right time and he had very little chance when uh, when time got low. Now, so he's just gonna play d3, huh? Treat me as a, as I'm a total passer. That's not quite fair. It's a decent system. It's just that d3 is often something you do in order to uh, to avoid the the um, um, the so-called should I go g5 here? Yeah, so what do you do to to avoid the um, why can't I the the open rule of this is what I was gonna say. So I don't know why he thought I was gonna go for the open rule. That was my my point, which I made in a very non-eloquent way. So I'm gonna go knight h5 now. I think after knight e3, I'll chop it off on e3 and then on g3. And the thing is, I haven't played b5, so I feel that whenever not too bad for black, as I can then seriously consider long castles later on. So he goes queen d2. The point is, if knight f4, he's gonna go knight e3. I can he can take back with the pawn then. But I think I'm actually gonna do that still. I'm gonna take and then I'm gonna go knight g6, and I'm intending g4 followed by h5. And I'm really hoping that his his bishop on g3 is gonna be pretty useless now. Um, so on paper, obviously he has a he has a bishop pair, but with um, the less than elastic pawn structure that he has in the center, I think the bishop pair is not gonna do him any good. And that's why I'm I'm not even gonna not even gonna play with b6, offer a trade of um of bishops there. I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go for h4 and then uh and then sorry sorry g4 and then h4 gaining a lot of space. Yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna castle actually. I'm a little bit worried that the pawn might be hanging on. Yeah, no good, no glory, right? Just castle. So he wasn't even thinking about taking on taking on f7. Bishop d2. He goes knight b4. Guess I'm just gonna drop the knight back. I'll take it, bishop d5. So it's it's not that easy to to do a lot in my position as well. It looks pretty nice, but it has mostly like defensive potential. There's very little that he can do, but there's also not a lot that I can do. G3 is always met by h3, and h3 is always met by g3. So I guess I should go h3 at some point and then try and open up the position and claim that his king is very weak. But I should play faster, that's the coordinating my rooks again. But as his play is showing he doesn't have he doesn't have a bunch of plants either. So 
I'm going bishop e6, trying to trade those bishops. If c4, then he's weakened the d4 square, so that I can go, I can go uh, for this, and then I think I'll take with the bishop, go back with the bishop, then go knight c6 to d4. He takes. Um, but I was sort of trying to make the claim that these endings are are better for me due to the far advanced pawn on h3. But he's certainly very much in the game. He quite sensibly takes. Yeah, queen f2. Okay, let me take and then go b5. I certainly have some pressure here. Bishop b3. Yeah, I don't know about this. I'm trying a5. If he takes an a5, I'm going to bc. Bishop c4, I'm at least not risking anything. And same, okay, he, he takes, oh, I didn't see, I didn't see this one. Yeah, this could be trouble. This could be massive trouble. It's trying to sort of jury flag me here. Okay, yeah, he was a little bit too quick to play only for flag there since once I got 2500 from Turkey. Is he going to play f3 and then h4? Wow. Wow. Okay. 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 That's challenge accepted. If I ever had the the motivation to just like usually in these these events i just want to play a good game and um hopefully try and be instructive as well but after this opening my motivation is just to crush this guy mercilessly and that's why i'm playing really aggressively just the the nerve he does have courage, though. Mm, what did I do? What did I do? Now I have to exchange queens, because if also bishop d4, c3, I would have to exchange queens there as well. So now it's just going to be some bullshit prosaic win. Who wants that? Nobody's here to see that. When you play the, uh, I don't know, accelerated bunk cloud or whatever you want to call it, you want to see blood, not this. It's a, spe a spectacular failure on my part. I even gave him some, I don't know, some kind of compensation here in, in the form of bishop pair. Obviously, it's not even close to being enough, but nevertheless, this was disappointing. Bishop h6, wow, that is a sick move. Okay, so he took, I thought his idea was to go bishop e2 there. Now it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, rook h1, that's nice, but it doesn't matter. I do lose one of my two extra pawns, but I, I will end up with um, two protected passers and um, and an easy win. Didn't want to go g5 yet, not to allow rook to, uh, to, to h7. Now he does have rook h7, uh, h8 and rook d8. Okay, didn't see that. What an annoying dude. <laughs> Just uh, killed my spirit right there and there. Right there and then. Okay, I just need to be sure, to make sure that I'm at least sort of fast. Yeah, now I'm winning. Okay, as rookie A8, not to lose another one, but at least I'm winning the game very easily. He may as well resign here. Like you went f3, h4, king f2, and actually made some sort of game of it. Your job isn't done here now, mister. Don't waste any more time from people who who also wanna also wanna get the chance to play. You got your meme. And he resigns. Probably probably listening in. That was um, that was at least respectful. I gotta give him props though. He played he played well after 
after the um, the meme-ish opening. Okay, uh, let's go for a uh, five-minute game. <laughs>